This is Guy Ritchie, the director of King Arthur, Legend of the Sword. There's a crowd of thousands out there. This is a scene that I, to you more than got um, to I was scared about directing. And the reason I was scared about directing it is because it's a cliché. It's a trope of sort of medieval movies, if you will, that you've got to take a, the good guy out onto a platform, stick his head on a block and threaten to chop it off. And thereby, I didn't quite know how to approach it in a fresh fashion. And what I think makes this scene interesting is the bad guy actually tells you what he's after. I'll let them hate and I quite like that, because really we're after the same thing that the bad guy's after, um, which is a sense of recognition. And he admits that really what makes him feel good inside is being recognised and being powerful. So on, in the morning of me shooting this, I wrote this sequence um, with Jude Law explaining why he, he doesn't want anyone contaminating his direct route to the source of his sense of self. So it's a montage explaining the human condition and specifically the villainous condition, um, which is a search for self outside of self. And that was the backbone to this scene. Of my Viking guests. This is all shot on a, on a stage in Leavesden. Warner Brothers has this absurdly sophisticated stage in uh, the north of London um, but this is this is where it was this is on the back lot so we built uh, here we built half a tower you're born king behold the man who pulled sword from stone it was certainly one of its key components was to express the fact that this was a big film. So it was a time to wheel out the extras and go, bosh, we are playing big. So we tried to make it, um, try to make it as big as we could so you could have a, f a, f a sensation of vastness and power.